This is already orchestral sketch number 10. Crazy how fast time goes. And talking about crazy, the approach of this orchestral sketch is totally madness. Hi there, this is David, also known as Ghost Rider. I get a lot of questions about how to enhance your creativity and inspiration for writing music. How I come up with the melodies, the chord progression and the music that I compose. And I understand these questions, but I don't have a one-fit-all answer to this, because there are many ways to achieve this. But in this orchestral sketch, I want to show you an approach that is ridiculous, but yet can be effective to get you on your way. I think this one is really awesome, so keep with me during the steps, because I'm going to take you to a part of my brain that drives the nerd in me. Now for the ones that have problems, difficulties with reading music notes, I'm going to show you the steps in MIDI 2. Alright, let's listen to the piano line I started with and then the orchestrated version. And hopefully you agree with me that this approach, this ridiculous approach, can lead to something beautiful. The challenge I gave myself this time was to write an orchestral sketch in Staffbad based on my name. Now perhaps you know that my name is David, so how can I turn my name, David, into music? Well, let's go to Staffbad, the app that I use for my orchestral sketches. There I will give you a detailed explanation of the steps that I took. Here we go, and you can do this too because we all have a name. My name is David, my name contains five letters. So the assignment is to write five bars of music. The letters of my name are D, A, V, I, D. Looking at the alphabet, these letters are numbers 4, 1, 22, 9 and 4 again. Are you with me? Letter A is 1, letter B is 2, letter C is 3, etc. When we count those numbers up, we end up with 40. So the assignment is now write 5 bars of music that consists of 40 notes. But that's not all, we can do more. We put accents on the note based on my name too. We take the number as intervals and use 22 as two intervals of 2. So we have intervals of 4, 1, 2, 2, 9 and 4. These notes get accents. So the assignment is now write 5 bars of music that consists of 40 notes with accents on intervals of 4, 1, 2, 2, 9 and 4. Lovely, let's start. The idea is ridiculous and quite challenging, so I decided to start really simple. A cantus firmus with one note per bar in the C major scale, going from 1 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 1, or you could say from C to E to F to G to C. I played it very safe here, so I used only 5 notes from the 40 I can spend. We don't need to listen to this again, so let's continue with the next step. With the Cantus Firmus I already kinda laid out a chord progression. 1, 3, 4, 5 and 1. So I started to write this chord progression into staff pad. One thing to pay attention to when you do this is the motion. Make sure to avoid parallel fifths and octaves. I talked about this already in the orchestral sketches before this one. Intervals of thirds, sixths and tenths 
are the ones I aim for. These ones give a rich harmonic sound. To get a little bit out of my comfort zone, I wrote a B flat in the second chord. That makes this very simple chord progression just a tiny bit more interesting. So this is what I ended up with. Five bars, five chords, 20 notes spent out of the 40 I can use. Let's do a quick listening and continue with the next step, which is about the melody. This step was a bit more challenging. 20 notes left to spend for a melody or decoration in 5 bars. Where to start I thought. Eventually I started with a simple line downwards along the scale, with an 8 rest to emphasize the chord at the start. I decided that I wanted to start with an E in the second bar. That kind of determined the start of the line downwards on the C. This way I could end on a D which works perfectly towards the E in the second bar. After the busy first bar with already 7 notes spent out of the 20 notes I had left, I felt the urge to be economical with notes in the second bar. So I only spent two notes, the E and the F, which completes the first part of the melody line. Eleven notes left. The third bar is a simple motif. It starts on the C, which is part of the F chord. It continues with a pattern of eight notes, going one step upwards, then falling down in steps of two, ending on the A. It kinda gives the same flowing feeling as the line downwards from bar 1, and there is no further big ID behind it. 5 notes spent again, so 6 notes left. The 4th bar exists of 5 notes too. That would leave me with one note to end within the last bar. I thought that was a great ID. I guess I did not have an ID up front when I wrote this bar. I did it on feeling and intuition, but looking at it now I can see a pattern. It goes up 3 steps, it goes down 5 steps, it goes up 3 steps and it goes down 5 steps again. So lovely. I ended up with a staccato style to break with the flowing legato feeling from the first three bars, maybe unconsciously working towards the end of this orchestral sketch. I had one note left, first I wrote it like that, so I ended with a final chord in the last bar, but it did not feel good, so I borrowed a note from the chord progression and used that in the melody making a total of 40 notes. The last thing I needed to do was putting in the accents. Remember, 4, 1, 2, 2, 9 and 4 again. So let's follow me along. 4, 1, 2, 2, 9 and 4. Nice. I guess I completed my assignment. Let's listen to it and continue with the next step, which is about orchestration. I have to admit that I used more than 40 notes in the orchestrated version, but that's because I simply use more instruments and doublings, otherwise it would have been a bit dull. Ok, let's go through it. I ended up using quite some orchestral instruments. The flute, the oboe, the clarinet, bassoons, timpani, glockenspiel, tubular bells, xylophone and the complete string section. The violins 1 and 2, the violas, the cellos, the double basses and bassoons cover the harmony, the chord progression as you will. 
with an exception of the fourth bar where the violins one take part in the melody, doubled with a flute an octave above. The clarinet, an instrument that I start to love more and more, takes the first main role in this sketch. It kicks off with the first bars of the melody in legato style. The accents are highlighted by the clockenspiel. In the fourth bar, the clarinet takes over the role of the violin one in the harmonic part, and this time the xylophone highlights the accent. We end on the tonic in the last fifth bar, staccato and pizzicato style to accent the last note, covered with the timpani and the tubular bell in the background. And that's it, a lovely orchestral sketch based on my name. Let's listen to it one more time. I really hope you enjoyed this ridiculous approach of this orchestral sketch and all the other orchestral sketches that I did before. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and don't forget to ding that bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video about an orchestral sketch, how to create realistic orchestral mockups in your DAW, orchestration and other related topics. And hopefully I will see you with another video.